Super Tuesday results continue to roll in this afternoon. That as another candidate drops out of the race. Former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg suspending his campaign today and now endorsing Joe Biden, who won big in last night's Super Tuesday races. But as ABC's Serena Marshall reports, the race is far from over. That's our top story this afternoon at 5. Another candidate out of the presidential race and putting their weight behind former Vice President Joe Biden. I've always believed that defeating Donald Trump starts with uniting behind the candidate with the best shot to do it. And after yesterday's vote, it is clear that candidate is my friend and a great American, Joe Biden. Former New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg had poured more than $230 million into Super Tuesday alone and didn't win a single state. Biden, however... They don't call Super Tuesday for nothing. Capturing 10 of the 15 contests and gaining at least 250 delegates, thanks to surprise wins in Massachusetts, Minnesota, and Texas, where a strong support from black voters helped him edge out Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders. And we're told well when he got to Super Tuesday, it'd be over. So I'm here to report, we are very much alive. Alive in what is now a two-man race, with Sanders, who holds a commanding lead in delegate-rich California, which is still yet to be called, propelled by large margins of the Hispanic vote. He also took victories in Utah, Colorado, and his home state, Vermont. Which side are you on? Uh, Joe and I have a very different vision for the future of this country. And Joe and I are running very different campaigns. The magic number to victory, 1,991 delegates. And the race could play out until the final primary in June and the convention in July. Senator Elizabeth Warren's also still in this race, but after coming in third in her home state of Massachusetts this morning, the senator's staff says she was talking to them about the path forward. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington.